Dzień dobry, nazywam się Sławomir Kalwinek. Zaczynamy filmową migawkę, podcast produkowany w Wytwórni Filmów Oświatowych, realizowany razem z Akademickim Ośrodkiem Inicjatyw Artystycznych w Łodzi i studentami filmoznawstwa Łódzkiego Uniwersytetu. To jest podcast WFO. A z nami dzisiaj w szkolnej, w łódzkiej szkole filmowej są, jest dwoje gości, Lindsay Zasada i John Bergen. Goście, którzy przyjechali tutaj specjalnie na pokaz filmu zrealizowanego w Brukseli i w Paryżu, a jest to część projektu badawczego, którego jestem również autorem. Zapraszam Państwa na rozmowę w ramach filmowej migawki. To jest podcast WFO. Hello John, hello Lindsay. Great hello. to see you, Slavek. So first of all, uh, why are you here, <laughs> John? Okay, we are in Woods, um, and it's early Christmas um, 2022 because we were participants on an intensive workshop with uh, Grażynia and Slavak and Anja and our colleagues in Brussels. Um, Lindsay, what did you what did you make in Brussels? I made a short film, um, about six minutes long, about. Um, the existentialism of work versus what you actually desire. My question is, um, wh what connected you with that, with filmmaking and watch and uh, workshop in Brussels? Um, I got an invitation from my friend and former tutor, John Bergen, to attend and really wanted to explore a new film concept I had. And this was the perfect opportunity for it. Uh, John? Uh, you are not for the first time in Łódź. Why? No, well, my connection to Łódź goes back in many ways. Well, it goes back to when I was a film student in the UK in the National Film and Television School. And I was studying there from 1989 until 1992. And I did a workshop uh, in, I think, early 1990 with Andre Mellin. Uh, and so in that sense, my connection to Łódź was with, as Andre's student 30 years ago. But you were also the author of the film in Brussels. I also took the challenge of making a self-portrait. I shot for a day in Berlin uh, and edited the film, also made the film uh, as a kind of collaboration with a graduate of the uh, Polish Film School, Mohamed Alog Manhani. I can always say his name. Almogiani, Almogiani. Thank you. Um, and had the great um, offer from him and also a, another filmmaking colleague to shoot the short in Berlin, which we then edited and presented during the workshop and then received really great feedback from Grazina and Anja and Slavak. And now in Łódź, uh, this, is your, this is not your very first time, but for, for Lindsay it is. Lindsay, what can you say us about the being in Łódź in film school and in general in, in the city? It is, it's very exciting. Um, I've been in Poland once before and um, this is my second time now and I have wanted to come visit Wuj to see the film school um, after hearing about it and I'm also interested in exploring kind of my family history because I have a lot of family uh, many generations ago who came from this area. It's, yeah, I have to mention that to, tonight there is a screening of our films, uh, of your films as a authors, me as a tutor and co-tutor, let's say, and Anja Adamovic, who is an editor, and many people who are involved in a project. Um, why this project is important for you, particularly in you, for you? I found this really important for me because I haven't made a film since I graduated, and I really wanted to... Um, keep the momentum going, the creative momentum, and kind of refine my voice. I've been working for the last year and haven't really been doing many creative things. So I didn't want to lose film as a creative outlet. So I was really interested in engaging that and also having um, some time with other filmmakers to kind of explore the filmmaking process outside of school. And for you, John? some similarities with uh, Lindsay. My challenge was because I work a lot as a film teacher is that my energy and time is dedicated to that and typically um, my own filmmaking has been neglected in, in recent couple of years so for me this was a, a chance to make something in a short time, uh, a one day shoot and then a four day intensive workshop but it was, a, it was a, an offer I couldn't resist. And what do you expect during the screening today? I'm genuinely very interested to see how the film 
works with an audience, particularly with an audience in Woods who don't know me. And that's not entirely true. There are some good friends, both from the film school and elsewhere, who may be at the screening. But I'm interested very much in how perhaps some other people that will see the film and, and see see it for the first time, what will they make of it? You know, will, will the film make any sense to them? So that's a genuine curiosity on my part. What do you think? Uh, what, what do you... Lindsay, what do you think about uh, your film and the reception of your film? Because mm -hmm. this is a very fragile topic, I think. Yeah, um, I think I have the same um, kind of questions about mine because I feel like mine is very experimental and it's uh, sort of like non-linear narrative and it's something that I haven't really ever made before. So I'm curious to see how people uh, receive it. And yeah, just the general reaction of the audience if they kind of scratch their heads and go, what the heck was that? Or if they seem to enjoy it, so. We're going to go get back to, to the discussion after the small break. We are, jesteśmy teraz, przepraszam bardzo, zaczynam mówić po angielsku nawet kiedy nie muszę, więc przypomnę Państwu, że w tej chwili słuchamy filmowej migawki. To jest seria podcastów, nie tylko rozmowy z twórcami związanymi z wytwórnią filmów oświatowych, ale również filmy, rozmowy o, o, o innych produkcjach, a naszych podcastów możecie słuchać na platformie YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast oraz na stronie Akademickiego Ośrodka Inicjatyw Artystycznych. Odnośniki znajdziecie na www.com.pl łamane podcast lub w opisie odcinka. Zapraszamy do subskrybowania i słuchania naszych produkcji. A my wracamy do rozmowy z Johnem Bergenem i Lindsay Zasada, uczestnikami warsztatów, które odbyły się w Berlinie. Jest to część projektu badawczego realizowanego przez profesor Grażynę Kędzielawską, moją skromną osobę oraz współpracowników ze Szkoły Filmowej w Łodzi, a szczególnie Ania Adamowicz, montażystkę, która tutaj była nieocenioną pomocą. And the next question is how the editing Uh, change your point of view because this is a very important part of the workshop that we uh, that we edited your films um yeah that was probably the toughest and most eye-opening experience for me i've never had anybody else edit my work except for me so i really wanted that opportunity to have someone kind of find what they see in my material and I think that was the hardest part because it was really exciting to have someone else show me what they saw, but then at the same time I had a hard time letting go of the control of what of my vision and my film turned out to be completely different from what I had planned and from what I had shot and it was it brought up a lot of hard feelings, but I'm happy that I had that experience because it taught me a lot about myself. What about you, John? Because you are the professional editor, not only director but also editor. What about you? It's similar for me because I started in the industry way before I went to film school. I was trained as an editor at the BBC back in the mid 80s, long time ago. Uh, so I had a similar inhibition. Having said that, in some ways it was a luxury and a, a pleasure to step back to not edit the film. In fact, Mohammed was the key editor, but in terms of the feedback, there was some very fundamental, in, in some ways quite simple feedback that I got from uh, Grazina and, and yourself. That was, I look back and I think, why didn't I see that? But I didn't see it because I'm in the film and I directed the film. And it just was, that perspective was, was fantastic. So for me, I have to say, it was more of a pleasure than anything else. I have to mention that uh, Mohammed is a former student of me also, uh, the, the director from the, graduated from the film school, which we are now here. And uh, you were surrounded by the people from Poland. <laughs> somehow and your Polish heritage is also important I think because you came here um, what do you think about the project like that projects like that uh, are they important and are they unique because in my opinion they are somehow it's a good question because of course in many ways the core the essence of the workshop is is draws from the documentary teaching here at the film school in Wodz, which everybody goes through. So that's where it has been developed over many, many years. But I think it 
does actually work extremely well as a as an autonomous as a separate as a standalone uh, workshop with people who are not even necessarily you know educated as filmmakers and people who are coming in from a different uh, perspective entirely and i think the the workshop has a flexibility there that means that it, it although it naturally will work particularly well for filmmakers people who are film students if you like from another institution it can work in an entirely different space as well so i, I think it's a very interesting model what is your perspective Lindsay? i found it uh extremely val valuable personally because i've been working as an editor for the last year on everyone else's projects except for my own and i haven't had the time or energy or opportunity to do something for myself and i think that i was really excited to do something solely for myself even if no one ever saw it it was an accomplishment that i could look at and be proud of and something that i, I don't think a lot of people have the opportunity to do without a motivation without money as a motivator just simply for the creativity. And I think that's very important for people to keep their creativity going. And even if this film turns into nothing, it is still something that I'm happy I did because it gave me the opportunity to chase that. The last question for you, Lindsay and you, John. Does uh, documentary filmmaking change life? Of course. <laughs> I think it gives people, uh, it educates people and gives them perspective on things that they've never known. Even if they don't, even if they know the subject, there are things in it that they can take into themselves and reflect upon. What about you, John? Yes, I mean, my friend Rob Rombu says it's, it's a documentary attitude. It's a way of looking at the world, looking out at the world, but in a way it's a way of looking into yourself. And I think that's extremely valuable to to be in in an intensive process that gives you that shift of, of perspective, and that's something is is unique and and something very special. I think I think this this project specifically that's very important because it it allowed me to look inside myself and figure out like what was going on and process through a lot of things. And I think that is also something people don't usually get the opportunity to do. So it's something that. Yeah, you can you can take it into yourself and, and process through stuff that's going on inside of yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you that you came here, that you participated in the project, and I hope that we can meet together and you know make film together, films together. Okay. Thank you very much. It's been a thank pleasure. You. Thank you. To był podcast filmowa migawka. Dzisiaj rozmawialiśmy z, dwu, z dwojgiem gości, to są nasi koledzy, filmowcy z Berlina, z Stanów Zjednoczonych i Wali w Wielkiej Brytanii, mianowicie John Bergen i Lindsay Zasada, reżyserzy, którzy brali udział w warsztatach, które między innymi ja prowadziłem w Berlinie i w Brukseli i w, w Paryżu. To jest część pracy w ramach Szkoły Filmowej w Łodzi. Dziękujemy Państwu za wysłuchanie tego podcastu, a przypomnę tylko, że seria podcastów pod nazwą Filmowa Migawka to nie tylko rozmowy z twórcami związanymi z wytwórnią filmów oświatowych, znanymi w Polsce i na świecie reżyserami, operatorami czy innymi osobami związanymi z branżą filmową. To spotkania również ze studentami, z artystami, którzy są obecni w przestrzeni publicznej bądź też dopiero wchodzą na szerokie wody. Dziękujemy Państwu bardzo i zapraszam na następną filmową migawkę. Do usłyszenia. Thank you.